Hello, my name is Sanos515, and welcome to my tutorial on how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So, what we're going to be discussing is how it's played, obviously, what are what the rules are, and, and what different cards are. So, let's start off with the rules. So, the game is played in turns. It starts off with somebody's turn, and then it goes to the next person, and then it goes to the next. Basic rules. Next, you go on to your cards. You have three main types of cards. Which are your monster, monster spells and trap cards? These are the only kind of cards you can get, although there are different types of each type of card. So let's get started. Started on how it's played. So to start off with. Here we have our field. Each each of these cards are a part of one different type of space. So let's start off with this. What are these, you might ask? Well, these are your monster card zones. This is a monster card. There are also different types of monsters, such as Fusion, either fusion monsters and Xyz monsters, each one having their own unique traits and own unique abilities. Now there are also different variants of the normal monster that you see here, such as effect monsters, and then you have your normal monsters. Those stars at the top represent the monster's level. So, for example, I have Cyber Dragon. This one has five stars. And then we have Alexandrite Dragon, which has four stars. Four stars and below you can summon without doing something called tributing. Tributing is something that you do when you sacrifice a monster or two monsters, depending on um, how high the level is, and it goes in order to summon a monster. Now, you might be wondering where those destroyed monsters go. Well, you have your graveyard. That's where your destroyed monsters and used spells and traps go. Now, where do your spells and traps go? Well, we go behind your monster cards. There are also different types of spells and traps, such as your normal spells, equip spells, oh wait, equip spells, quick play spells. There's also your normal trap card and your continuous trap card. But, so do all of these go into your deck? You might be wondering that. Well, most of them do. I say most because, well, you have the, these types of monsters. Your Xyz and your Fusion monsters. These go into your... These go... do not go... These do not go into your normal deck. Now, where would they go on your field? These go into your extra deck zone. There's also one more type of spell, and where and that doesn't go in this area. Where would that go? You might ask. It's your field card zone, which are you, and the it's field cards that you place in here. You can tell each type of, type of spell and trap depending by the symbol that is in the top right, underneath that right there, which signifies whether or not it is a spell or trap. Seeing that there is no symbol, it is a normal spell. Seeing that there's that symbol, that means it is a quick play spell. This can be used during your opponent's turn. And here you have your equip spell, which are equipped to your monster cards. Then you have your normal trap, 
which has to be wait, which you have to wait for an entire turn in order to in order to be used, and you, and all of your things can only be placed on your turn, but they can be used on your opponent's turn, and then you have your continuous continuous trap card, which are normally only taken out of play one when targeted by an opponent's card effect. Now, how do you tell the difference between all the different types of monsters, you might ask? The colors of the different types of cards is your answer. For example, black is Xyz. Purple is fusion. Golden is normal. Brown is effect. Now, how do you tell if, if you require a tribute in order to summon a different type of monster? Depending on its level. For example, black dragon ninja has seven, seven stars up on the top. Now, those represent your levels. Each star represents one level. So, five or, level five or six requires one tribute. But, level, level six or level seven or seven or above, requires a tribute, such as Black Dragon Ninja. Cyber Dragon would be in, in one of those categories where it would only require one rather than two with Black Dragon Ninja. Those are the basics of your, of your card field. Now, you might be wondering, is that all there is to Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, there isn't. There isn't that much more but there is more different types of cards and a lot more to the cards effects I'll, s I'll discuss card effects quickly so for example you have ZW Azura Strike which reads you can target one utopia monster you control so I am number 39 utopia this is applicable equip this monster from your hand or your side of the field to that target. It gains a thousand attack when this is when this card is equipped to a monster, that monster can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. You can only control one ZW Azura Strike. So, it's pretty good. That's basically what a card effect is. It enables you to use a card's effect depending on certain it enables you to shift the tides of battle with a certain card's effect only being able to be used on upon certain conditions so maybe you might be able to use a, um, an effect once per turn there are different types of monsters though which I'm not able to discuss due to me not having them such as ritual monsters link monsters um, and pendulum monsters I wish I could discuss more about them, but I'll tell you what I know. Pendulum monsters are monsters that you have certain actual spaces for them that do not go into your monster card zone. These would go between your graveyard and your deck, and your field card zone and your extra deck zone. And then you have your link monsters, which are part of the new design for the field that is not like the way that I showed you. It's a different sort of play style, but it is not. But you can choose a different rule style. And then you have... That's about it. Oh wait, your ritual monsters. Those are require spells, tributes, a spell that is uh, specified towards that mo to bleh, towards that monster tributes that equal or that are uh, required depending on the ritual spells specifications and then the monster itself each having to be in your hand or on the field except for the ritual monster which you need the spell in order to summon other than that, there really isn't much more to, to Yu-Gi-Oh, except for the different rule styles. There are many, 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 many different rule styles, depending on which way you want to play. The way that I just showed you was tournament rules. There's also street rules and your own custom rules, and there are 
infinite ways that you can play in that situation. The street rules is street rules is and uh, tournament rules are the two main ways of playing. The street rules you can practice via an app called um, Duel Links, which I'm not advertising. I'm just saying. <laughs> And tournament rules, there's another app that you can use in order to practice it. Either way, it's still pretty useful. If that helped you, I hope, which I hope it did, leave a like, subscribe, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.